In this video, I'll show you how you can send large video files on WhatsApp. So currently the file size limit on WhatsApp is 16 megabytes, but I'll show you how you can send upwards of 10 gigabytes on WhatsApp for free. Okay, so here we are on my phone and I'll explain what you need to do so you can send large files on WhatsApp. So I'll put up a picture here on screen. You can see that the current file limit is 16 megabytes. I'll show you how you can get around that. So I'm gonna do that using a video that I've recorded earlier. So if I go to my photos, you can then see at the bottom I've got some videos. I'm just gonna click on the one minute 40 one. Then we'll click on I. And you can see that this is 135 megabytes. So I'm gonna show you how I would send that file on WhatsApp. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to go out of this and we actually need to go ahead and download an app and that app is going to be Google Drive. So if you go ahead and open up your app store, then go to search, and then just go ahead and search for Google Drive, and then click search. Now this is gonna be a free way that you can send large files over WhatsApp. Okay, so here I am in Drive. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to open the Drive app and sign in to my account. Once I'm signed in, I can then go ahead and click on the plus icon in the bottom right hand corner, and then click upload. And what we can do is we can upload our big file, which is too big to send on WhatsApp. I'm gonna send this video, which is one minute and 40. Click upload in the top right hand corner. Then if we go to files in the bottom right hand corner, you can see that this is now uploading. So now it's been uploaded. You can see it's now moved to the bottom. We can now click on the three dots next to it. We can then go to share. I can then click on manage access and I can get a link. So if I go to the top right hand corner, it will then copy the link to that file. I can then find the person I want to send the message to, then I can just paste in that link. Now when they go ahead and click on that link, so it will take them to a page which looks like this, where they can then simply go ahead and download the video. That's the best way to do it. If it helps you out, please leave a like and comment down below.